I want to go over a release of the pectoralis minor and major. This is an area that is not addressed very well. Everybody has tight pecs. If you sit in front of a computer, you're forward, you're texting, whatever you may be doing, this is an area that needs to be opened up and released. And most of the time when people go to practitioners, they don't really open this area up or even address it at all, to be honest. If you want, you should just take your arms up here and just stretch back a bit here. Okay, you start to feel a little <laughs> tension there? Yeah. Take it back here. How's that feel? You feel the tension? It's tight, yeah. Back. You feel a bit of tension there. One more time down here. Okay. Let's have you lie on your back here. Now, this is a, a sensitive area to work on. So it's really important that, first of all, you get permission from the patient to actually work on the area. Explain what you're doing. You know, just tell them that it's really important that we actually get this area here to release so you can get your shoulders back and down. Because, you know, a lot of people come in and they have problems up in the upper shoulders, the neck, but they don't realize the correlation between their pectoralis muscles on the front and what's going on posteriorly. If you're like this position here, you're going to have a lot of tension in your neck, you're going to get headaches and a lot of other problems. So, Mickey, I'm going to get you to take your right hand, go on top of your left breast, and push it down flat. Now, the pectoralis muscles, they basically attach to the sternum, go down to about the fifth rib, go over the shoulder blade, a fairly large area here, and you want to make sure that we actually work the entire area and get it to release. So, Mickey, I'm just going to lay my hand on here. This is a closed hand technique, fairly light. Don't make a, a very strong, rigid fist. Just keep your hand really loose. You okay? Yeah. You may also want to, if, if, it's, if the patient is a little bit uncomfortable, you might want to bring your staff in the room at the same time and actually have them observe while you're performing this action. The main thing is the patient has to relax and feel comfortable with the procedure. So I'm just going to come back over here. You okay? Yeah. Okay. So down a little bit there. Now do you feel this is getting a little more intense? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can tell right away. This is an area that is just really tight. And for most people, they don't have work done very much. But if you can release this, it'll make a huge difference. You okay? Yeah. Yeah. Not too much? That's pretty good. Yeah. So I'm getting more up in the pec minor here towards the shoulder. And that's a pretty tight area. You okay? Yeah. I'm just going to change my angle a little bit here and go up. That's intense. Okay, you okay? Yeah. yeah. It's really important you take your time and communicate with the patient and make sure that they're okay with the range of motion and they can feel the release. You okay? Yeah. Go back towards the center just one more time, excuse me. Good. Back again, one more time. That's great. Okay, come out of seat here. Okay, now. Just bring your arms back here. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> this one's stuck. This one's going back. We're going to come up here. This one's going back. This one's not moving. We go down here. Bring them back. Yeah, I can bring this one right yeah, back. This, 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 this one's not going this anywhere. Stuck. This really is a great procedure. It's a way of opening up the chest. You'll feel, you know, you'll, you'll breathe easier, actually. It'll bring, it'll bring the shoulders bring back. The shoulders back. Yeah, yeah, exactly. A great procedure.